Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you can catch these spills every week. Also, smash that like button and engage in the comments, man. I love going back and forth with you guys in the comments. All right, so like minutes ago, both Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin tweeted and posted to Instagram the new official pictures of Cable for Deadpool 2. And my first thought is I'm so glad that I was wrong about them premiering his image the same way they did Deadpool and Domino. And I'm not going front, I was really nervous about that happening. And I'm glad it didn't. But while taking a close look at these images, it looks good. Because one thing that I was worried about as a huge X-Men fan was the possibility of them doing too much with the cybernetics and he even has a teddy bear here from the other Deadpool photo that's crazy but no really I was legit worried that they was gonna do like too much and bring it all in his face and and just Terminator the whole thing out because in the comics his cybernetics are anything that are like installed into his body it's all a result of the techno organic virus so with that it should blend with his skin organically and it looks like that's exactly what they were going for and I think it's gonna be real interesting to see how they handle his telepathic and telekinetic abilities because in the comics that's something that he's always using to keep this virus like under control to a certain extent or to keep it from taking over him completely but I like how even when they illustrate it here that it's not doing too much because they could have went totally overboard with it I like that it's subtle but still noticeable and I'm so so eager to see what how much they're pulling straight from the comics like will they have him be from the 39th century because in X-Men Apocalypse when Gene was destroying him and they're like he's getting away we're not sure where he went and it's not like there's any confirmation of these films crossing over and making it to anything but you guys know I can't help it when I see something like this and all the ideas and theories just start jumping out at me but all we got right now is the image so I'm just gonna stick to the image and what we got but yeah I think it looks great and I ain't gonna front I did kind of want those classic X4 shoulder pads maybe not as big as they were back in the day but hopefully we see something like that at least for a little bit at some point in time in the film but yeah back to the cybernetics man and take a closer look at his arm and it looks like they did a good job like i said even the machinery on him is organic and you can see how it looks like muscle fibers other parts kind of shield over which is cool because it's been many different takes on cable where the whole thing was shielded over and i think with them doing a mixture of the two was the right call and it's crazy how they got him with the brown teddy bear here it looks a lot like the one from games of death that 2009 marvel one shot and it's like does this bear belong to somebody he's looking after it feels like we're being teased quite a bit but let's just be glad that it's not a unicorn because the whole movie from there would be deadpool try to fight him for the unicorn Y'all know where that goes. But yeah, I just want to share with you guys a few thoughts on this first look at Cable. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Me personally, I like it a lot, but I'm one of those fans who wants to see Strife now and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like a future version of Apocalypse coming back that's like way bigger and beefed up. Because I'm pretty sure he's not dead. In the comics, he doesn't die till way later in the future. And Cable's traveled back in time more than once trying to kill him. And really, Apocalypse is a huge part of who Cable is. How he got the techno-organic virus, how he was cloned, and then we got Strife. So I'd be really upset if they don't tie these two together in some kind of way. And I know I'm asking for a lot. I guess I'm just greedy like that. That. But let me know what you think in the comments if they're going to stay true to his origin and have his parents be Scott Summers and Madeline Pryor. Or do you think they'll flip that to Jean Grey just to make the story simple? And I'm thinking that they will just make it Jean Grey for the sake of simplicity because most likely they'll see it as a trade off to add to the existing arc of a character than to introduce somebody new that they're not really going to use for anything. But that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit me up in the comments below, and we'll do it again next time. All right, later.